Okay, Commander. Ramirez is counting on you to get those survivors to safety. Hello, Ray. If you can hear me, now would be a great time to hurry up. Copy that. Weapons and building systems coming online. Now. Yeah. Back in action. We got a pack of husks set ahead. What's our firepower situation? See for yourself. Lead the way, Commander. out here, Ramirez. I've been holding down the fort, but nowhere safe for long. Well, we're here to help. Whoa! Has it always been this bad, Ramirez? Nah, sometimes it's worse. Excellent building. You're gonna need a bigger gun. A much bigger gun. We can help with that. We need some crafting materials. Try smashing up some cars and trees. Good choice. Cars are a trusty source of metal, nuts and bolts, and mechanical parts. Trees are good sources of wood for building, and twine for crafting. we need to craft a gun. Open the inventory, click on the gun icon, select it, and craft. Ramirez, come in! We got company! I've marked the location of the fort on your map. Let's go protect those survivors. What's her status? We can't find a way out of here soon. Well, this dude is dead. Don't worry, hermano. We're working on it. Those traps should buy us some time. Let's see how those survivors are holding up. Hang tight. We're gonna take care of it. Uh, 
Ramirez? I'm getting some seriously weird readings. Nice work. Whoa! Was this here the whole time? Is this a missile or some sort of rocket? Some sort of rocket. Actually, wait! It's the best sort of rocket! Commander, there's a satellite on board. If we have a satellite, we can guide Ramirez and the survivors back to our home base. Then let's launch this thing. We have the opposite of liftoff. Uh, that's strange. Someone converted this rocket to run on blue glow. Okay, then, let's find some blue glow. Explore the rooms near the rocket. There should be some blue glow close by. That's enough. Add the blue glow to the rocket. rocket exhaust we need to keep that rocket safe until launch another wave's coming I need some backup don't take any chances Lenny I'm on my way what the hell is that thing get out of there I think I can hold it
great job out there. Thanks to that launch, we can now connect to our very own satellite. Let's take a look. I'm sure it's not that bad. Corrected. Wow. Oh, great. They're in space, too. <sighs> Let's deal with that later. Not bad. So, what do you call this place? People are still alive out there, and we can save them. This could be our thing. Where do we start? Oh, I, I get it. I have people I'm looking for, too. L look, so what if there are storms and monsters? If we all pull together, we can bring all of them home. What do you say? They're closing in too fast. We're not going to make it to the door. That's our cue, Commander. Prepare the storm shield. You'll be fine. Out you go! everyone you are now protected by a temporary storm shield but i think i know how to turn this little home base into something incredible if we can upgrade and protect it this storm shield could keep you and everyone you rescue safe from the storm and that's where you and your construction chops come into play you are a talented builder like frank lloyd wright or bob so let's get started go activate the storm shield Protect the storm. 
storm shield from any attackers. Here's what you can do! But we don't have the resources to build that one yet. And here's what we do have the time and resources to build. Still good. Let's get started with the basics. Can't build without resources. Let me send some for you. Let's build some defenses around the storm shield. Let's start with walls. You have wood, stone, and metal. Now, add a door. Next, you'll want to build some floors and ceilings. Nicely done. Looks like we could use some traps. Place a floor, ceiling, and wall trap. Those are the basics. Now let's finish the build. Here's what you need to construct. Low walls are great for slowing down the enemy, and they don't get in the way of your bullets. Deselect the two top rows, and make sure the bottom three panels are selected. Make sure to select the low piece you removed to make the door. Confession time! I, uh, broke the airstrike. Let's not dwell on who crashed what into a mountain, all right? So for now, we'll stick with grenades. Here's a target for you. Try throwing a grenade at the target. Nicely done. Looks like we're ready to defend. If your walls take damage during the fight, you can repair them as long as you have enough of the matching material. You may want to craft some more ammo, but after that, you're all set. When you're ready to start the fight, select Expand Shield from the Storm Shield console. Not possible. Here we go! Shield power increasing. As expected, the shields have gone a little flaky. Let's see if the storm notices. I think it did. You've got this, Commander. Defend your storm shield.
shield is up, the survivors are safe, and Ramirez is ready for action. Huh, not a bad start. Lock, let's see that status report. Okay, okay, uh, good reporting. Just one small note. Let's maybe try not to cry in the war room. Even if the storm is closing in and our power reserve indicators are flashing red, which is not energy efficient at all. But none of that matters because we've got Vendor Tech on our side. Our sensors are picking up an active Vendor Tech research facility in this zone. Lead the way, Commander. Don't tell me what's inside. I want it to be a surprise. Ooh, those prongs look sharp. Ah, I'm... Oh. It's raining gold. What? I was hungry. Hi, friend. And that's all she wrote. Does anyone else feel transparent? What are you waiting for? Get to... Well, that's me. Hiya, Commander. The fate of the world now rests on you, me, and some guy from tech support. Who, let's face it, may no longer be with us. I've marked his last known location on the minimap. Let's check it out and hope for the best.
does not inspire confidence. Let's see what's inside. And this inspires even less confidence. Let's take a look around. Like it was abandoned. A secret research lab! Finally! Huh, this is vendor tech equipment. What's it doing here? Oh, come on. Check out that computer. Whoa, this is interesting. In the lead up to the storm, vendor tech labs began developing experimental weapons. Normally, I'd find that kind of thing disturbing, but these days, I'm all about it. It looks like this lab was working on something called an atmospheric laser. I've downloaded the schematic. Let's test it out. Okay, to start, we'll need some blue nope. glow to power the weapon. There should be some in this lab. Then, I've got a hunch we'll want to stock up on bullets. There are two ways to craft bullets. You can open your inventory and select the bullets you want to craft. Or you can hold reload on your current weapon to auto-craft the bullets you need. Let's craft some bullets. Ammo. your help. See you soon. There's the target. According to the lab's computers, you place the atlas on the target, add blue glow, and wait. Sounds simple. Way to go! Prepare for an attack from the west. Build some basic reinforcements to protect the atlas. This storm will be stronger than what we saw at home base. There's more than one way to build a fort. You can edit what you've built to add windows, doors, or to change the overall design. When you're in the build menu, you can also place traps. If your structure takes damage, you can repair it using the same resource. Nice work. Add blue glow to the atlas. Open mission control when you're ready to begin. Thank you. 
That's enough blue glow. Here come the hot. And there goes the core temperature. Uh oh. Uh, no need to worry. Yet. lasers. That atlas gives us room to breathe. Oh, hey. One of the vendor tech files was an update to our harvesting gear. Look for weak spot indicators next time you're harvesting. Aim for the targets and reap the rewards.
I hear you all are in need of a storm analyst. Well, you're in luck. I saw that light show you put on back there, by the way. Righteous pyro. But I'm a... <laughs>